today I'm here not only on behalf of Famous Smoke Shop, but the entire premium cigar industry. Here's the reality, guys. Many of our freedoms and privileges are being stripped away in the U.S. by legislators who feel that they know what's best for us. In other words, they're trying to save us from ourselves. But I sure as hell don't need to be saved. Do you? The world of tobacco is under attack. Absorbent taxes and draconian smoking laws, just to name a few. And the cigar industry faces some of the most serious threats imaginable, including extinction. You've been hearing this for a couple of years now, and it's true. The U.S. government wants the FDA to intervene and oversee the cigar industry and regulate it the way that they do with cigarettes. The cigar industry by nature is a completely different product than cigarettes, and the FDA's intrusion could become fatal for the pastime that we all love. Well, the time has finally come where a decision will be made. What's taken so long are the typical bureaucratic layers that this has all gone through, but now it's time to fish or cut bait. The FDA has sent its proposed regulations to the Office of Management and Budget, the very last step before regulations are enacted. The OMB are the people who assist the president in executing his policies and programs. And now they're in the final stages of deciding on what kind of control that the FDA is actually allowed to have over the cigar industry. So here's a little to-do list of the atrocities that the feds want to inflict upon the lifestyle that we all love so dearly. Now one of their goals is to control the blending process of cigars, which could cause cigar makers to take years to bring a new stick to market. They want to control the nicotine content affecting the strength of cigars. They want to ban walk-in humidors, can you believe that? While disallowing you to smell an ogle over your favorite smokes. They want shop owners to keep their cigars hidden in a back room where they'll only be able to show you their selection from catalog sheets. They actually want to ban cigar box art and labels, something that's become iconic, a part of our industry for hundreds of years. And they want to ban all mail order of cigars. The residual effect could also bring about 80,000 plus job losses to the people right here in our industry. And to that, I say, yikes. Guys, let me be blunt. The big picture here is scarier than a Rosie O'Donnell lingerie show. And the residual effects are far worse. These people really have no clue about the lifestyle that we love and what cigars mean to us. And worse yet, they don't care. Famous Smoke Shop has certainly done its share in the fight to preserve this industry, including intense backing of the lobbyist group Cigar Rights of America. And we're also huge supporters of the trade organizations, the Cigar Association of America and the IPCPR. Famous has been vigilant in fighting to protect cigars and your right to smoke them, and we will continue to do so. Listen guys, if you care about your rights as a cigar smoker, you owe it to yourself to visit the CRA's website, CigarRights.org, where you can see firsthand what's currently happening in your state. Now if you're like me, you're going to want to contact your state reps via email or phone to let them know exactly how you feel about the FDA's intrusion on the cigars that you love. So moving forward, we'll keep you informed on any and all decisions made concerning the FDA and any possible new taxes and laws involving cigar smoking. And rest assured, we will continue to fight to protect your cigars and your rights as a smoker. I'm Tommy Z-Man for Famous Smoke Shop, and in the words of a patriotic American named John Paul Jones, I have not yet begun to fight. We have not yet begun to fight.